Hello, yes, it's me, Mr. Sneaky, and we are going over, like the title says, over some more PvP here in the War Room. We've got here K-O-N-S and Vape fighting all around their ancestor statue for the first time. So we're going to go over all of this PvP here. So stick around for some insanely good PvP, even when we had a fog bug in the game. Smash like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos. We meet Mr. Sneaky, an official Call of Dragons content creator. And we've got PvP. We was able to watch a portion of the area in the Ancestor statue. This was pre-patch update, right? This was before 1.019 dropped and allowed us to actually defog all the areas. So this is where we could watch P-Hub as well as Vape actually contest for the first time against Arceo by going around honestly the top side and trying to cut off this entrance because this entrance here is where all of the troops have to enter through the KONS and RKO Union Alliance right so it's a really good strategy if you can cut off this supplies guess what you can kill all these guys hopefully and push in kill the guys on the point and guess what it's yours it's a really good little tactic obviously there's not a lot of members here for the p hub maybe they wasn't obviously active at this time i'm not going to quote obviously someone maybe from the alliances will quote down but this is honestly a more of a fun exercise this is one of the first times it was happening and i like to see it i love to see just friendly combat as well happening within each other's alliances right and you can see they were fighting on pretty fair terms even in this little combat here we can see the p hub guys fighting a nice little tight murder ball on the top side using burst strike and time bomb there on one unit together try and do some massive artifact damage but KNS working together still with what they've got from the middle and their little entrance there on the right side with Hades and Skywalker they're all working together these little six marches spread out causing problems for the P-Hub but guess what P-Hub are a lot more consolidated and you can see them actually focus firing a lot more effective against them and there we go one member already down Acris dead from them and now some of these guys are gonna have to pay attention because guess what if these guys keep pushing through like they are more and more members are coming they're gonna stop these guys from targeting them i really want to say though predator just on the you know this side right here he's doing some amazing positioning predator on the mountain basically stops cavalry and infantry marchers from targeting him yes he can still get melted by the range which you can see that they are doing right now but if he was more aware he could have actually positioned and went over that mountain and stopped those guys from killing him so easily right so there's a really good little positional awareness there and a nice little key take from him even though he died we can still learn from that mistake for some future pvp experiences right so now p hub doing an amazing job like i said they've now killed all of those guys in the entrance and now Arkeo need to wake up because if these guys are afk guess what this murder ball will kill all the afks quickly enough while maintaining you know focusing down those active players because you gotta think if you're an active player like this augstein player is and riven right now you guys need to keep out of that zone almost because if you're in that zone Yes, you're going to get killed by the murder ball focusing you, but you're going to be next to your allies, meaning that AoE damage is going to kill the AFKs, and that's what you need to avoid. So it's a really cool tactic here, and you can see them pushing in, and they really <laughs> want this. Shadow now repositioning in. These Archeon Koenis guys have to respawn. This is the big moment you have to go in if you don't and allow this murder ball here to keep growing and growing and you can see more and more troops coming from that top side it is a very devastating thing that will happen to your alliance so here we go the murder ball from PO focusing down multiple members of the Archeo and KNS alliances there unstoppable from Siru there so it's doing some really nice AoE damage with the Lilias but this is what you can see look 
how look how many mage players there is currently in this area and you can see people peeking in and absolutely doing some great damage here look at how low some of these guys are even Escanor rocking in the red zone here Riven still healthy though Riven doing a really good job McCool now using time bomb trying to get some damage in 11,000 shadow games put onto him but McCool doesn't care he hits one more AoE before exiting and now some more troops from the south side has entered right so RKO alliance members have come and you can see them now divided the P-Hub having to fight on the left as well as the middle and this is what they needed not to do they had to even make a decision are you gonna fight and just push all the way in and be brutal and just get your merits or are you just gonna cut the supply line and go more towards the pass and stop players from re-entering the zone right so you had two options and that is a nice little take there from today's episode of the war room i hope you've enjoyed it so far it's been a really nice one a nice little small episode too just to showcase look the ancestor statues pvp zones can be really really good if you are fighting in them and there's a lot of strategy that can be put in place so you need to be on point and not just go in there doing whatever you want because if you just do whatever you want guess what someone who's very coordinate is definitely gonna wipe you clean since in the statue remember only one march can enter this zone so with one march you need to bring your strongest march and make sure it counts so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. You can see we're going to end it there with a little bit of ending PvP with Bunny entering the battlefield for the P-Hub and v Vape alliances there. But RKO done a fantastic job pushing them out, which is a really good thing. Pushing them out of the zone and being able to get those points for free and basically allowing marchers even just to refresh a lot more simpler. So you can see it with a nice little clip, nothing too crazy and nice and digestible for you guys. So if you enjoyed today's little PvP experience and you've learned something and you enjoyed the commentary from myself, smash like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name's Mr. Sneak, an official Call of content creator. We do this every single day. We give you either guides or some sort of PvP news update, anything Call of Dragons related. We have got it. And like I said, we are an unofficial Call of Dragons content creator. So show some support, hit the like button, and put a comment below what you think. And with all that said, Stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out.